Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review this little emergency crank radio. This is a must-have, or I want to say that this is something that you should have for the days that you may have problems with electricity. Beside that, if you want to go camping, this will be an awesome thing to have, since this is not only going to help you out with your radio, but it's also going to be a really good flashlight. Plus, if you have your iPod or iPad, this will be able to charge it for you. I will show you step by step what this can do for you. Or as you can see that the box is really small and has some indications on the top and also in the bottom that it is made in China. Going on the other side of it, there's nothing but once you try to open, it opens from the side. And then when we take the radio out of it, it has some little parts. Alright, so the first thing that I want to talk about is the actual little manual. So it will tell you how it looks and some functions. Also using the radio itself, using the flashlight. Also it shows the solar panel so that way it can get recharged or it has the crank part so you can charge it too and that's how it's going to look. I will show you in a few seconds. So this is basically the basic how to do and also how many volt it takes, what type of range on FM and radio it has. Starts from 520 to 1700 kilohertz. We will go through and show you what exactly it will do when it get to it. Again it's very tiny so let's put this aside and go to it. So there is a little micro USB to a USB 1.0 connection here so this way you can place it on a charge if you need to charge it up with electricity this will do the job for you with a 5 volt and then go into the crank radio itself it's inside of a little bubble wrap and we take it out it is nicely set up so let's go from the front you will see that there is a little flashlight here and then go into the front part of it it is already on you can see there's a little red light and that means is basically has a little bit of electricity once you charge it this will be lit up a little more so you will see there's a bunch of lights that will go on and this way you know that it will be working so the am or fm radio is here too and then the wb band is also here in the bottom part of it or we call it white band and it will has the range on the bottom part of it you do have the nice speaker here and then you do have the volume and also the tuning so this way you can change the tune so to a different radio station so you can listen and also you can change it from wb to fm or to am and a middle part of the volume and the tuning going on the bottom you do have the nice name here it says iron snow is the name of the company itself that made this but going on the top part of it first is we're going to see the solar power and also you have the flashlight button so you can click and yes you can see that it is pretty bright and we will turn it off so you do not need it and for the FM and AM radio you do require to have a little antenna depends where you are so that way you can get your signal for your radio going in the back part of it is where you're going to see the crank part and you can open it and this way you can charge it so again you have to do this for a little bit in order for this to get at least a little bit of a charge and then you will be able to see it in a front so this is how you know that it got charged except that if you are outside and it is nice and sunny put this outside this will actually get charged by itself going on the one side of it you have a little connections here and it has a little cup on top of it this way there's no dust or water can go in so when you open it you have the usb 2.0 connection right here which is the black color you can see it and this way you're going to charge your iphones i would suggest like something like ipod or ipad since where you're going there's going to be no cellular little tower so you can get your cells working but you can also charge your phone from this and also you have the micro usb so this way you can charge this using the 5 volt to a dc if you require and then you do have the headset jack so this way you can put your headphones on and then you don't have to listen to it through the speaker itself. So we'll close this part too and then go in the bottom part. We do have a little section that you can open. Now this is not something that you have to open. 
This is the battery. I believe this is 1600 amps or should I say milliamps. So this way it will be able to hold all the charge, but it is exchangeable just in case if it ever dies, you can purchase another one and just click it on and it will work. But I do not want you to open this. And it has a little handband. So this way you can put it in your hand when you go somewhere, wave and does not fall. But again, this is really cool. So let's go through and see if we can turn it on first. So it looks like we have a lot of charge. You can see there is three out of four, which is really good. And then we can change the radio to see if we can get anything. Red weekend sale. Get more from. So you can hear that there is, it's really good on radio. Right now I am on FM, so if I change it to AM, there is a lot of radio stations around us. Yes. In Canada, radio stations on AM are mostly for ethnic uh, people, so it's really good. You don't even have to put this on in order to get a lot of channels in Canada for doing this. So this is a really cool thing to have. And when you want to go, and I'm going to turn it up. So the antenna is really good too, so it's not that... It's not that long but if you have to put it somewhere still and then you want to just try to tune so when you see the green part is blinking that means this is just trying to tune into something but again I'm moving very fast you can see the knob just going back and forth but if you want to just go to AM or FM that's how easy it is to play with this all right, so this was our take on the Iron Snow Crank Radio. This is a very phenomenal, very small, and very compact little radio. So you can take advantage of it going to camping, or you're going to come across a certain type of disaster. This will really help you out so you can connect with the outside world. Plus, if you really don't have connection to the electricity itself, you can just turn it around and you can crank, and this way you're going to get charged unless you are outside and it's not really cold you can turn this on i should say put this in the sun and it will get charged by itself so i'm going to use this when we go camping soon and in this way it will work really good for us except that i will be providing a link where you can purchase this from at the bottom of the video except that if you do like our video give us a thumbs up and on top of that do subscribe to our channel and thank you